Okay, thank you very much. It's a great honor to have Nancy Pelosi with us and Chuck Schumer with us. And uh, we've actually worked very hard on a couple of things that are happening. Criminal justice reform. Uh, as you know, uh, we just heard word, got word that uh, Mitch McConnell and the group were going to be putting it up for a vote. Uh, we have great Democrat support, great Republican support. So criminal justice reform, something that people have been trying to get. How long, Nancy? Many years. A long time. Many, many years. Uh, looks like it's going to be passing, hopefully, famous last words, on a very bipartisan way. And it's, uh, it's really something we're all very proud of. And uh, again, tremendous support from Republicans and tremendous support from Democrats. And I think it's going to get a very good vote. And we'll see soon enough, but it'll be up for a vote very shortly. Uh, a lot of years they've been waiting for it. Uh, the other thing, the farm bill is moving along nicely, and I guess they'll be voting uh, on Friday or so, but pretty so, close. Definitely. And we think uh, the farm bill is in very good shape. A lot of good things are happening with it, and our farmers are uh, well taken care of. And again, uh, that'll be quite bipartisan, and uh, it'll happen pretty soon. Uh, and then we have the easy one, the wall. That'll be the one that will be the easiest of all. What do you think, Chuck? Maybe not? It's called funding the government, Mr. President. <laughs> so we're going to see. But I will tell you, the wall will get built. We'll see what happens. Uh, it is not an easy situation because the Democrats have a different view, I think, than I can say the Republicans. We have great Republican support. We don't have Democrat support. Uh, but we're going to talk about that now. We're going to see. Uh, one thing that I, I do have to say is uh, tremendous amounts of wall have already been built. And a lot of uh, a lot of wall. When you include the renovation of existing fences and walls, we've uh, renovated a tremendous amount, and we've done a lot of work in San Diego. We're building new walls right now, and we've uh, right next to San Diego, we've completed a major section of wall, and it's really worked well. Uh, so a lot of wall has been built. We don't talk about that, but uh, we might as well start because it's uh, building. It's being built right now. Big sections of wall. And we will continue that. And uh, one way or the other, it's going to get built. I'd like not to see uh, a government uh, closing, a shutdown. Uh, we will see what happens over the next short period of time. But the wall is a very important thing to us. Uh, I might put it a different way. Border security is extremely important. And uh, we have to take care of border security. When you look at what happened with the caravans, with the people, with a lot of we shut it down. We had no choice. We shut it down. Uh, but uh, it could be a lot easier if we had real border security. I, I just want to pay my respects to the Border Patrol agents and officers. They've been incredible. The ICE agents and officers, they've been incredible. And very importantly, our military. Our military went in, and they did an incredible job. Uh, they have been really, really spectacular. Uh, a lot of the people that wanted to come into the country, and really, they were going to come in no matter how they wanted to come in. They were going to come in even a rough way. Uh, many of these people are leaving now, and they're going back to their countries, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and other countries. They're leaving. If you notice, it's getting a lot less crowded in Mexico. Uh, and a lot of them are going to stay in Mexico. And uh, the Mexican government's been working with us very well. So we appreciate that. But they haven't been coming into our country. We can't let people come in that way. So that's pretty much it. We're going to talk about uh, the wall. I wanted to talk about criminal justice reform just to let you know how positive that is. I want to talk about the Farm Bill, how positive that is. And I want to talk about the wall. And I will tell you, it's a tough issue because we are on very opposite sides of, uh, I, I really think I can say border security, but certainly the wall. But the wall will get built. A lot of the wall is built. Uh, it's been very effective. I, I asked for a couple of notes on that. If you look at San Diego, uh, illegal traffic dropped 92 percent once the wall was up. El Paso, uh, illegal traffic dropped 72 percent, then ultimately 95 percent once the wall was up. In Tucson, Arizona, illegal traffic dropped 92 percent. Yuma, it dropped illegal traffic 95 to 96 percent. I mean, uh, and that when, when I say dropped, uh, the only reason we even have any percentage where people got through is because they walk and go around areas that aren't built. It dropped virtually 100 percent in the areas where the wall is. So, I mean, it's very effective. Uh, if you really want to find out how effective a wall is, just ask Israel. 99.9 percent .9 effective. 
and our wall will be every bit as good as that, if not better. So we've done a lot of work on the wall. A lot of wall is built. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of wall is renovated. We have walls that were in very bad condition that are now in A1 tip-top shape. Uh, and uh, frankly, uh, some wall has been reinforced by our military. Our military has done a fantastic job. So the wall will get built, but we may not uh, we may not have an agreement today. We probably won't. Uh, but we have an agreement on other things that are really good. Nancy, would you like to say something? Well, thank you, Mr. President, for the opportunity to meet with you uh, so that we can work together in a bipartisan way uh, to meet the needs of the American people. I think the American people recognize that we must keep government open, that a shutdown is not worth anything, and that you should not have a Trump shutdown. Uh, you have the, oh, the oh, White I House, the Trump, Trump shutdown. Oh. You have the White House. You have the Senate. You have the House of Representatives. You have the vote. You should pass no, it right now. No, we don't have the vote, Nancy, because in the Senate we need 60 no, votes. No, but in the House, and we don't you have could it. bring it up right now yeah, but today. I can't, excuse me. But I can't get it passed in the House if it's not going to pass in the Senate. I don't want to waste time. Well, you, well the fact is you can get it started that way. The and House we could get passed very easily, okay, and we do. do. But do the it. problem is the Senate, because we need 10 Democrats to vote, yeah, and that's they won't the vote. Point, the point is, is that there are equities to be weighed. And we're here to have a conversation in a Correct. prayerful way, so I don't think we should have a debate Correct. in front of the press on this. But the fact is, the, Senate, the House Republicans could bring up this bill, if they had the votes, immediately, and set the tone for what you want. If we thought we were going to get it passed in the Senate, Nancy, we would do it immediately. We'd get it passed very easily in the House. Yeah, we would get it, Nancy, I'd have it passed in two seconds. It doesn't matter, though, because we can't get it passed in the Senate because we need 10 Democrat votes. Well, That's the problem. Again, let us have our conversation, and then That's we can right. meet with the press again. But the fact is, is that uh, legislating, which is what we do, right. you begin, you make your, your point, you state your case. That's what the House Republicans could do if they had the votes. But there are no votes in the House, a majority of votes, for a wall no matter where you start. Exactly right. yeah. If I needed votes. the votes for the wall in the House, I would have them in one session well, would be do done. It. Do it. it doesn't help because we need 10 Democrats in now, the don't Senate. don't put it on the Senate. Put it, on, put it on the negotiation. Okay, let me ask you this. Just, and we're doing this in a very friendly manner. It doesn't help for me to take a vote in the House where I will win easily with the Republicans. It doesn't help to take that vote because I'm not going to get the vote of the Senate. the Senate. I need 10 senators. That's the problem. You have the White House. You have the Senate. I have the you White have House. The House, the White of House is done. And the House would give me the vote if I wanted it. But I can't because well, I need, can't. Nancy, I need 10 yeah. votes from Chuck. No, right, let me President, say something. Let me, under, let me just say one thing. The fact is, you do not have the votes in the House. Nancy, I do. Yeah. And we need well, border security. Vote, Nancy, we'll find out. Nancy, we need border security. It's very simple. Of course we do. We need border security. People are pouring into our country, including terrorists. We have terrorists. We caught 10 terrorists over the last very short period of time. 10. These are very serious people. Our border agents, all of our law enforcement has been incredible what they've done. But we caught 10 terrorists. These are people that were looking to do harm. We need the wall. We need, more important than anything, we need border security, of which the wall is just a piece. But it's important. Chuck, did you want to say something? Yeah, here's what I want to say. We have a lot of disagreements here. The Washington Post today gave you a whole lot of Pinocchios because they say you constantly misstate how much the wall is built, how much of the wall is built, and how much is there. But that's not the point here. We have a disagreement about the wall, the whether it's effective or not. Not on border security, but on the wall. We do not want to shut down the government. You were called 20 times to shut down the government. You say, I want to shut down the government. We don't. We want to come to an agreement. If we can't come to an agreement, we have solutions that will pass the House and Senate right now and will not shut down the government, and that's what we're urging you to do. Not threaten to shut down the government because you, you, you can't get but your way. The last time way. you shut it down, you yeah, got killed. Let me say something, Mr. President. You just say, my way or we'll shut down the government. We have a proposal that Democrats and Republicans <laughs> will support to do a CR that will not shut down the government. We urge you to take it. And if it's not good border security, I it won't take it. It is very good border security. And if it's security. not good border security, border security, I won't take it. Because it's what the Because when you look at these numbers of the effectiveness of our border security, and when you look at the job that we're doing you with our military. You just said it is effective. Can I, be, can I tell you something? Yeah, you just said Without it's a wall, these are only 
areas where you have the walls. We want to do where this. you have walls, Chuck, it's effective. We, where you don't have walls, it Let's is call not a effective. Halt to this. Yeah. Let's call a halt to this. We've come in here, the first branch of government, the Article One, the legislative branch. We're coming in in good faith to negotiate with you about how we can keep the government open. open. The, 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 we're going to keep it open American, if we have border security. The American, if we don't yeah. have border security, I'm, Chuck, I'm with you. we're not going to keep it yeah, open. I'm with you. We are going to have border security. And it's the same Effective word. You're bragging security. about what has been done. By us. We want to do the same thing we did last year, this year. That's our proposal. If it's good then, it's good now, and it won't shut down the government. Chuck, we can build a but much that's bigger section let's, with let's debate, more money. Let's debate in private. Okay. okay? Yeah. Let's, let's debate in private. That is devoid, frankly, of fact, and we, we can We need border that. security. I think we all agree that we need border security. Yeah, is that right? Do. Good. We do. See? We get along. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have border security without the wall. There's you a need, commonality on border the security. Wall. The wall is a part Are you of border security. What it means to have border security. Yeah, yes. we need the border president. security. The wall is a part of border security. You can't have very good border security without the wall. That's no. Absolutely not true. Just that kidding. is a political promise. Border security is a way to effectively honor our responsibility. And the experts say you can do border security without a wall, which is wasteful and doesn't solve the problem. It, it okay. totally solves but the I problem. But I don't want to take this. I, this unfortunately, this has spiraled downward when we came at a place to say, how do we meet the needs of the American people who have needs? The, the economy has, it's, uh, people are losing their jobs. The market's in a mood. Our members are already well, left. We have the office. lowest unemployment that we've had in 50 years. 60 people of, of the Republican Party have lost, it, are losing their offices mm. now because of the transition. They're, people are not, the morale is in not. The Senate. Nancy, the morale we gained in the is Senate. Not. Excuse me, did we win the Senate? It's we not won the Senate. Senate. When the president brags that he won North Dakota and Indiana, he's in real trouble. When I, oh, I did. Let me say this. We did win this, North Dakota. This is the most unfortunate thing. We came in here in good faith. Uh, and, and, and we are entering into a, a, this kind of a, a discussion in the public view. But it's not fair, let, let us, no, uh, no, it's but called it, transparency. I, I, I know, it's not transparency when we're not stipulating to a set of facts and when we want to have a debate with you about saying we confront some of those facts without you know saying what? to the we public, You know what? We need border security. This That's isn't what we're true. going to be talking about, border security. If we don't have border security, we'll shut down the government. This country needs border security. We the wall is that. a part of border security. Let's have a talk. We're going to get the wall built, and we've done a lot of wall already. It's a big section. It's a big part of it. Is it everything that you need? It's a big part of it. We need to have effective border security. We need a wall in certain parts. No, not in all parts, but in certain parts of a 2,000-mile border. We need a wall. How much money? Uh, we are doing it much under budget. We're actually way under budget on the areas that we've renovated and areas that we've built. Uh, I would say if we got if we got $5 billion, we could do a tremendous chunk of wall. Look, we have to have the wall. This isn't a question. This is a national emergency. Drugs are pouring into our country. People with tremendous medical difficulty and medical problems are pouring in, and in many in many cases, it's contagious. They're pouring into our country. We have to have border security. We have to have a wall as part of border security. And I don't think we really disagree so much. I also know that, you know, Nancy's in a situation where it's not easy for her to talk right now. And I understand that. And I fully understand that. We're going to have a good discussion, and we're going to see what happens. But we have to have border security. Mr. President, please don't characterize the strength that I bring to this meeting as the leader of the House Democrats who just won a big victory. Elections but let me, let, me yeah, just, let me just say, that's right. and let me that's just why the say this. Doing so well. What the President is representing in terms of his cards over there are not factual. We have to have an evidence-based conversation about what does work, what money has been spent, and how effective it is. This isn't about, this is about the security of our country. We take an oath to protect and defend. And we don't want to have that mischaracterized by anyone. And I we agree are, with we are that. No, no, I agree with we that. Are so let us have a conversation where we don't have to contradict in public the statistics that you put forth, but instead can have a conversation about what will really work and what the American people deserve from us at this uncertain time 
in their lives where the they have apprehension. One thing I think we can agree on is we shouldn't shut down the government over a dispute. And no. you want to shut it down. I, you no, keep no, talking no, no, about no. it. The last time, Chuck, you shut it down. No, no, no. And then you opened it up times. very quickly. And 20 I times. I don't want to do what you did. 20 but, times Chuck. you have called for, I will shut down the government if I don't get my wool. None of us have you said You want to know something? You've said okay, it. Okay, you want to put that you on my... You said it. I'll take it. Okay, okay, good. You know what I'll say? Yes. If we don't get what we want, one way or the other, whether it's through you, through a military, through anything you want to call, I will shut down the government. Okay, absolutely. Fair enough. And we I am disagree. proud, and I'll we tell you disagree. what, I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck, because the people of this country don't want criminals and people that have lots of problems and drugs pouring into our country. So I will take the mantle. I will be the one to shut it down. I'm not going to blame you for it. The last time you shut it down, it didn't work. I will take the mantle Good. of shutting down. That is and I'm going to shut it down for border but we security. You shouldn't okay. shut it down. But you, the Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Press, let's go. Make your way out.